Welcome to the 2005 Carnegie Mellon Solar Decathlon House. Originally known as Pittsburgh Synergy, the house was constructed by a team consisting of Carnegie Mellon students, students from the Art Institute of Pittsburgh, and also from the University of Pittsburgh. How about we go into the house? We're actually entering what's the, uh, known as the back entrance of the house. Some people think of it as the front, but it gets a little confusing in that way. This is the south-facing side of the house, which is very critical in solar-powered buildings in that you want your building to be oriented to the sun as much as possible to gain as much of that solar exposure. So as we walk into the house, you'll first notice that the house is sort of made up into two main parts. The service core, which is the northern facade and space over here, two stories, and then this main south great room. These windows were put in place in Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. They were not assembled in DC. So these beams that you see spanning across the main great room actually unhinge and bolt down into the floor to create this very secure triangle that was actually driven to DC on the tractor trailer. When we got to DC, it was the house was assembled so quickly, people were amazed at just how fast we got it up. As one of the design features in the house, the team decided to go with these sort of polycarbonate panels that in the kitchen were used to put lights behind them, creates a nice sort of atmosphere. We have our in-counter dishwasher, which just goes and pops up there as a space-saving feature. And then we actually have our induction cooktop. As we move into the bathroom, uh, one of the key features of the solar decathlon is anything you design that you plan to include on the tour has to be handicap accessible. There was originally a curtain designed to go around here, so you could open it up when you're not using it and then close it off when you actually need it, making this actually quite spacious bathroom in an 800 square foot house. And this, these are the polycarbonate north wall panels I was talking about. Mm -hmm. But it's really nice because they just sort of click together and I believe mm -hmm. there's two layers of them here. It's a real nice feature because being on the north side you're not going to get the sun exposure of the other side but it, amazingly this room even without the lights on is still very bright. And that was another feature of the house we really wanted to incorporate was a lot of natural daylighting. And, this room originally served as the bedroom for the house, and we had, I believe, a double bed, some furniture that was designed by students. And this room as well has the benefits of the natural ventilation. So we're actually on the second floor of the Solar Decathlon home, and you can see that uh, students have actually gone and after the competition have installed sensors throughout the house. In the 2007 house, we're hoping to install more sensors from the get-go so we can know how the house is performing during the competition and even sort of immediately afterwards. The house actually has a pretty high air exchange rate, so we have good air ventilation and good air quality for that reason. And you can actually pan outside and you get to see a lovely example of our solar panels, hard at work. What we're looking at here is actually the model for the 2007 solar decathlon house. The idea behind the house is that it's modular, so you can start to adapt it to your needs and your use. There's the primary service core where all the utilities and waters are held, water features are held, similar to the 2005 house. However, the idea is that you could go and expand it, start to expand it in other directions. And the idea being is that it's configurable to your taste, to your needs, to your budget. So you can actually go and change that. And trying to not just make it a um, sort of boxy shape, we have this natural integration of vegetation throughout it, but going and using that water that falls and actually showing that the vegetation can be integrated to the building and we can go and mix the built environment with the natural environment.